Hello, you're welcome to another episode of Lonely Lifestyle and the Basics for those who are just joining us. My name is Timmy Tupper Ola Simono. I'm a lawyer and civic educator. I like to tell people about their rights for free. And um, not just rights, we also have obligations as citizens of any country in the world. Now, uh, uh, today I'm going to be talking about something that's so commonplace especially in Nigeria but I'm gonna start by talking about my experience okay let me just state what the topic is for today we're, we're dealing with traffic offenses and uh, I've gone through some of the traffic laws um, some of the traffic offenses in Lagos state they usually are about um, vehicular movement or motorcyclist uh, the time I traveled out of the country I was in Dubai precisely and it was my first time you know using their crosswalk and I didn't know that there was this term um, what they call it just like you have traffic lights for uh, just like yeah, that was many years ago that was in 2012 so I think I knew I should know better now so I was so um, yeah, so I was to cross the road and the road was very free, as free as, as, as just very free. And I was with someone thankfully. And I saw the zebra crossing, my mind like, okay, I'm following the zebra crossing, so I'm still on point. Not knowing that there was the crosswalk sign, just like you have your traffic lights in Nigeria. There was a sign crosswalk and I've seen I think I've seen some places in Nigeria where we have the crosswalk sign and but prior to that 2012 I'm talking about I was about to cross the road and then my aunts just pulled me back and I'm like okay now I get it I could have I could have committed a crime you know I could have committed a crime I'm sure it was an offense so let's get right to today's um oh, traffic offenses you know well over there they have um you know pedestrian rules and all of that I feel like in Nigeria we really keep the pedestrian rules many times to be honest I forced myself to take the bridge there's always this temptation you know, to take the bridge the pedestrian bridge when you know I'm not commuting through uh, the through a vehicle so I take the pedestrian bridge sometimes and I know that it's pretty hard work yes you know you're climbing you feel like you're climbing a mountain or something but I had to remind myself that uh, you're one who's supposedly given to keeping it uh, keep playing it by the rules so today we'll be talking about a number of traffic offenses some of them are interesting the very first one that interested me is the fact that um, did you know that um, motorcyclists are not carry two passengers at the same time or more than one passenger uh, at the same time motorcyclists are not allowed by law to carry a passenger more than one passenger at the same time and children under the ages of under the age of 12 a child that is not attained 12 years old is not allowed by law especially in legal states to take a motorcycle a pregnant woman is also not allowed in law to take a bike i i didn't know that really i didn't know that i didn't know about especially we see a lot of young children on the bike when they're going to school trying to make it to school early apparently in legal states it's an offense so we'll get to other offenses like um, tailing an emergency vehicle yes where we see maybe we see like um what they call them all this um, convoys and we follow tailing an emergency vehicle is actually wrong you know you have you're susceptible to paying a fine of fifty thousand naira for a first time offender and if you're a, a subsequent offender a hundred thousand naira and some of these offenses have the alternative of fines and some of them have imprisonment both imprisonment and fine and some of them have community service the one another one i find interesting is eating while driving I legit saw someone with a flask eating. Maybe, maybe food. Maybe food was maybe person had not eaten all day. You know, this Lagos life is a fast life, so she was eating during traffic. It's an offense to eat. It's an offense to eat traffic during traffic or while driving. It's so much of an offense that it doesn't have a fine. 
it doesn't have a fine for it so it's an offense it's something like you're liable to imprisonment and you will need some kind of reorientation now also while you're driving and you get to a zebra crossing and you see persons at the zebra crossing and you refuse to stop for them you're liable to pay the sum of 20,000 naira for it as a first time offender or 30,000 naira as a subsequent offender so that means when you see it's not for zebras it's for human beings and it's not an artwork on the road it's not a painting it's not a graffiti on the road it's for you to legit stop for passes by pedestrians while they're walking i mean really and you know sometimes i see drivers just drive and we search and i used to feel in my mind i mean like you guys act as if you don't walk <laughs> that's that's what i say to myself like they just drive like they feel like the pedestrian is an obstruction the pedestrian is an alien to the road and they just want to just drive even sometimes they don't stop at zebra crossings and you feel like they are doing you some kind of um some form of a great gesture when they stop you or when they stop for you really it isn't supposed to be like that where uh, it's not only motorists or motorcyclists that are users of a road we also have um the path for pedestrians and that's why driving on the curbs on the curbs the side of the road designated to pedestrians also is an offense and it's liable to a uh, payment of um you're liable to a payment of 50 thousand there as a first time offender and a hundred thousand there as a subsequent offender and also in the alternative there could be imprisonment and it could be community service smoking while driving is also wrong drinking while driving is also wrong you're liable to pay in a fine of twenty thousand there as a first time offender or thirty thousand there as a subsequent offender now texting while driving is wrong it's actually even more grievous to the law than receiving a phone call without uh what they call it wireless device so like without um what they call it maybe without your earpiece or something yes texting is actually very wrong it's worse in the sense that um, the imprisonment for it and the fine for it is higher than that of driving and that's not to say you should choose no i'm just telling you the gravity of these offenses so texting while driving is wrong and um making calls while driving is also wrong and the fine for this is yes the fine for texting while driving is 20k for 10,000 naira for first time offenders and 30,000 naira for subsequent offenders and you have six months community service but in the case of um, what you call it in the case of receiving a call or making a call while driving it's also for first time offenders 20,000 naira for second subsequent offenders 30,000 naira however you have a reduced community service sentence yes so three months well for texting is three is six months okay. so what else which other one do i find interesting yes while you're driving and you're a slow vehicle maybe for some reason there's something wrong with your vehicle and you refuse to keep to the right it's an offense so if your vehicle is slow and it's also an offense as a learner to drive on the highway as a learner you don't drive on the highway so you be an expert before you get on the highway so they were saying about a slow moving vehicle for whatever reason if your vehicle is slow moving you don't keep to the left you keep to the right and failure for you to do that failure for you failure to do that you'll be paying a fine of twenty thousand naira as a first time offender if you do get arrested or thirty thousand naira for a subsequent offender i don't know if you, you do any of these offenses um what other one comes to mind overtaking vehicles wrongful overtaking of a vehicle is punishable by law and you pay a fine of fifty thousand naira as a first time offender and a hundred thousand naira as a subsequent offender so we can see that there are a lot of this um fines and a broken down vehicle on the road did you know that you pay five hundred thousand naira for your vehicle being broken down and i'm like what's the justification for that but the law is the law uh so please make sure that your vehicle is not just left on the road please we don't want you paying five hundred thousand naira in this 
beautiful climbs in this beautiful time i don't want to say the opposite so really let's just um, keep to those roles and what's the role of all of those roles there are many more there are about 80 of them uh when you go to the lagos state traffic offense society you'd see all of that just pull them up and let's let's know these things you know if i were to of course i couldn't possibly recount 80 of them here but i've told you the ones that we probably didn't know were wrong also you know this right away thing we do on the road if you are at a roundabout and there's an oncoming traffic on the left you have to give them the right of way failure to do that is punishable and i believe i think it's about um um i don't know i, I will add it to my notes so i don't take too much time i add it subsequently to this so let's make sure that we follow these rules if you're a pedestrian let's do some exercise let's be good nigerians and you know i had a feedback i like feedback i had a feedback from someone my long time argument buddy and for me i'm a lawyer but i don't like arguing i don't like arguing opinions i always say that it's endless and pointless to argue an opinion for example you say who is uh, more appealing or you know in terms of acting who will, is more appealing in samuel l jackson and will uh you know to go back and just using on then nigeria you can see on motola jaladik and genevieve it's an opinion or just like we have people conversing in football what team is better what team is their opinions and they are endless they are endless they could be argued forever i'd rather argue facts okay i tell you that okay a dollar is this this today a dollar is that that you know was that that many years ago that's fact okay you could put pay to that argument by releasing what they call it evidence that's easy for me to do so but when i tell my friends that i don't like to argue they find it funny they find it funny but there's this body of mine <laughs> i met him at one of my previous workplaces and i surrendered down to him when he's arguing i don't like to argue so one of his arguments when when i did the, the video about um you know assault battery afri he was saying well i guess he is, is um, I don't like to misquote people, but I guess it was his emphasis on the fact that uh, on Nigerian roads, if you're driving, uh, especially in Lagos, you could be driven crazy, you could be frustrated by, and uh, you know, you could feel the urge to want to beat somebody up. And I was like, okay, I don't have anything to say to all of that. And he was, of course, he was also saying about uh, the practicality of Christian values, that argument on the side of the plate, too. However, my response to him in all of this, it was going back and forth with it and I wasn't having it. I couldn't deal with it. So I just told him that um, I just have one simple question. Do Nigerians obey rules when you go outside this country? And it was like, he was even saying that ah, they dare not say they don't obey, they deport them and all of that. So that's it. So while I enjoyed my time going to Dubai, very beautiful and a clean city, very clean, very, very clean. That's for me, that's what stands out. I'm sure everybody likes anybody who's gone there. You like the high rise buildings, the skyscrapers, um, Burj Darab, everywhere pretty. But for me, one striking thing is its cleanliness. Maybe I should do a video about, you know, pollution in Nigeria. This is anything I dislike about Nigeria. Nigeria. I am a patriot. I love to I love my country. I've never thought about absconding. Yes, I like to travel the world, but I just have this flair for this country. The weather is perfect for me and everything. But and that doesn't mean I, I can't find myself in any part of the world, but I don't have this obsession to want to leave Nigeria. But the only thing that I, I find that is a pet peeve for me in Nigeria about Nigeria is just you know it's just the fact that we the way we indiscriminately throw away uh wastes i i think i think it's just and you find some beautiful high places uh, uh high-rise areas where you sorry it wasn't what's called it was actually illegal island freedom park very beautiful freedom park is one of my favorite places and i saw waste and so why i'm emphasizing about dubai being a clean city is that um for me that's what stood out and i'm sure that regulations help us to you know do the needful 
you know we could we could abuse we could do anything we want to do but if there are no regulations if there are regulations in place rather they help curb, curb our behavior so i guess this is why we have these laws like for the pregnant woman for example probably the law is trying to forestall her being hurt on a motorcycle so you might you can't say i'm sure sometimes you say well, what if there's an emergency and all of that but law sometimes you know looks at balancing and making society safe for us all so what are your views Is, are there any uh, traffic laws i missed that you you find interesting as well all right this is timmy topo last month no any lifestyle t- uh, tips i guess it's obvious let's, let's just um, keep to the law and i, I think i already said one about um using the pedestrian bridge let's, let's exercise let's exercise let's, let's not swing surprises on the road and i promise that I, i've been using the pedestrian bridge but I'm, I'm i promise to use you know to pay more attention this time being that i've said it out in the public space i use the pedestrian bridge and i commit to continue using it so i hope that there's a resolve that you make after watching this video except you have some extra naira to spend and besides the naira some of these offenses carry you know imprisonment just like i told you about eating while driving three years imprisonment go figure all right so do take care have a nice day this was timmy topoe or last mono low lifestyle and the basics do like the share and subscribe take care all right bye